What is going on YouTube? It's Vanuity and today I'm going to give you guys a bit of a tutorial, some advice on how to create loadouts. So, I'm sure you already knew that because you probably read the title, but let's get right into it. There's three things you want to keep in mind in my opinion. Your weapons, stats, and perks on your armor. So, I'm using Red Death in this situation, Party Crasher, and Corrective Measure. Pulse Rifle, Shotgun, Machine Gun. And currently, I have Intellect. Discipline and strength, um, declining in that order. So you see, I have on these legs camera for heavy weapons, and that's because I don't really have anything better than that with the same stats. I think, yeah, nothing with the same stats. And in this situation, I'd rather have more heavy ammo than camera for auto rifles or special weapons because I'm not using auto rifle and special weapons. Uh, we'll get back to that in a few. But, you see, I don't want to wear these because I don't want to just have strength. And I'm not going to wear these ones because discipline and strength. That's not going to be too much because I need to get some intellect up. And the perk camera for pulse rifles would be useful if you're making a build for PvE. But you see, in this situation, I'm making some like PvP. And you don't really run out of ammo for your primary in PvP. At least I don't. Yeah, not too often, sometimes. Then so my chest, you see, I have a discipline chest. And the perks don't actually apply to anything I'm wearing. Camera for fusion rifles, nope. Camera for scout rifles, nope. But I'll still wear this chest because of the fact that it has discipline. I need some discipline. Like, right now you see I don't have any discipline so far. And yeah, the last two things don't have discipline. This is all my discipline right here. So I still wear it because of that fact. And this chest has strength and intellect. That's not what I need. I need discipline. Same thing over here, intellect strength. I need discipline. So I think you're getting the gist of it. You kind of have to prioritize what matters to you most in some cases, your stats, or the perks it has. So most likely I'll choose the stats over the perks. Then I'll have this chat, this arms right here. Intellect only, 107. The first perk is actually great because it benefits me using Red Death. Increase your speed with pulse rifles, that's a great perk. Increase your speed with heavy weapons, another good perk. Because it'll help me, you know, continue to mob with my corrective measure. And it also helps with, you know, camera for heavy weapons. Reload faster and I have more ammo. It's like, perfect. Now I wear that gauntlet over the other three because this one has intellect. And that's how I'm trying to boost my intellect up. And this one has strength, don't need it. Discipline, don't need any more. And intellect and strength. No, I need a lot of intellect to boost me up. To where I am. Let's see how my stats change if I switch from this 107 into lead to. Hmm, let's go with this one. It has 55. See, my intellect got dropped, and my strength is now my prioritized stat, and that's not really what I want. I want it to be my first, my highest stat. And plus, the fact that it has increased real speed with pulse rifles, that's just like the obvious choice for me with this current build. Then you'll see I'm using the RAM. I use the RAM because of the fact that it has increased armor. And it helps me, like, I feel like it helps me slay more. Because I can, you know, take more shots. But it's just probably mental. I'm not, I'm not really sure the, the actual stats on the, red, on the RAM. Like, how much it changes it. But if it's enough to help me survive a gold gunshot in some cases, then um, I'll take my chances with it. It's just a mental thing. But in my head, it helps me. But then... Alright, let's mix it up a little bit just for example's sake. Say I'm not using an exotic helmet. And I want to use the purifier ropes. I know some of you guys use purifier ropes a lot. It's a new popular chest. I look completely different all of a sudden. But you'll see, mine has discipline 98 and strength 78. So right now, let's see. Intellect is still great. Discipline, good still. And strength, good. So you can sometimes switch your gear around. And, not, and it's okay. And it's able to work like this actually because my helmet has 62 intellect. So it kind of replaces these two things that were intellect. No. It, it replaces the helmet that was intellect. And makes it so I still have a good amount of intellect. At the same time, buffing up my discipline. So it's like, this actually would be a good loadout. I'd actually wear this if I was trying to use purifier rows right now. Alright, so I switched to my hunter to show you guys another example. So here I, you see I have on gunslinger, last word, and fell into his lie. You can ignore the has invention. But as you can see, this is a perfect chest. Something I like a lot. Camera, 
carrying my for shotguns and carrying my ammo for hand cannons. That's a really good chest. Like that's like a lot of people's combination, hand cannons and shotguns. So that'd be ideal. It has intellect and strength and like I said, strength isn't a bad thing. It's good to have a little bit, if anything. Then you see I have on Crota legs, intellect one forty eight, typical perks, camera for heavy weapons, and gain a temporary increased agility while carrying the sword of a hive sword bear. So I actually didn't have these legs originally. These were my original Crota legs, but I actually went through the effort to try and come new ones because I was tired of my stats looking like wonky. Like I would have this almost maxed, then I'd have like no intellect. This would happen a lot. I got tired of it, maxed out these, and now I have actually have a lot of leg options. If I was using a score rifle like my multi tool, maybe I'll throw on these legs for discipline instead of intellect and flip some other stuff around. So if I was using my mode too, for example, like I just said, maybe I'll put on these legs, and then maybe I'll put on this chest. But like I said, camera ammo for a certain type of weapon as a primary won't help you too much in Crucible. But yeah, this also applies to PvE as well, so this could actually be useful if you're using Fang Variant, for example, and I don't know, a sword break or shotgun. Another thing to keep in mind is your exotic. In this case, you see I'm using Accio Face Symbiote to create orbs for my team. So, like, say somebody else on my team had this going on, another type of way to make orbs, then maybe I would switch to something else that gives me health from orbs if we're doing like a Crota raid. So, your loadout actually can help you a lot if you think about it. If your team is making a lot of orbs, you may want to have something like this going on if you're doing Crota hard mode. I'm sure you guys know about that type of thing by now. And yeah, just make sure to be maxing a lot of armor. It can actually make you a much better Destiny player in general, not just Crucible, not just PvE. And this is something I slacked off doing for a long time. And once I started doing it, I realized I actually started to get better. So take my advice. Let me know if you guys need any advice in the comments. And a question you guys are probably going to ask is where you might be able to get legendaries. Well, you know, Brother Vance, Varix. Check your vendors if you haven't bought the stuff from them yet, because um, I have some of that from my Warlock. I haven't bought it on my Hunter yet, I think. And, yeah, you gotta check Varix and Vance, check the vendors, and Engrams. Engrams can give you legendary gear. That's a possibility. So, yeah, just keep maxing out things. Give yourself options. And decide which that matters to you most, or what's your priority on your certain build. It's very important. And um, that's it for me from this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. Drop a like so I know you enjoyed it. Um, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. And yeah, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.